I feel underappreciated all the time. This is also an issue in our marriage currently because I'm exhausted. I'm like literally pouring from an empty cup and everybody wants something from me. And so like, if I don't have anything to give, it's it, the whole, everything just like freaks out. Also, we have lost our babysitter roster up here. So that's been hard. I definitely need a break. Hi, Mom. Them. I'm gonna the other side. Yeah, Josiah is a little person, has achondroplasia like his siblings. And um, yeah, now there's four of us. My little dwarf tribe. <laughs> okay, are we ready for this? Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting used to this infant car seat again. <laughs> We've arrived home, and it's time for Jackson and Lila to meet the new baby. I'm definitely nervous. Yeah. It nervous. didn't go well when we brought Lila home Did from the hospital. Did not go well. You want to say hi to Mama? Jackson, who is that? What's up, little man? Can you come, can you come give Mama a hug? I missed you. Yeah. I'm like expecting the worst, but yeah. hoping for the best. This, yes. Here, one more. You'll do the cheese, OK? All right. Oh, oh, oh wait a minute. Who is here? Where's Lila? Oh, I'll be gentle. Hi, honey. How are you? Oh, hi, Lila. What is that? She goes straight for the baby. Lila, what do you think? So Jackson, it, do you know if it's a boy or a girl? What do you think? Uh, boy. It's a boy. Right. Oh, oh, boy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's Bye. Josiah. His name is Josiah. Luke, roll off. Uh, Josiah. Uh, Josiah. We told him that it was a brother, <laughs> and he was excited. Show him your baby. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I can't get over it. <laughs> Lila, is that your baby? Look at, she is like yeah, she is. focused. We thought he was gonna lash out or freak out. Freak out. Lila was gonna, everyone's gonna start crying. A toe was gonna be stubbed. Who knows? Like, every, I want milk, like something irrelevant, you know. But it ended up being fantastic. Mm -hmm. Well, like, the hospital sucked. And the first two nights sucked home. But now I'm like, I don't hurt as bad. I am feeling better. I think I've just been up faster, quicker. It's definitely like you got to, life goes on. You got two other kids that you got to worry about. So you're up and going faster. He also just doesn't have weird quirks like the other kids did. You know, there's nothing for me to like worry about. The worst well, thing he's probably... had is diaper rash. I'm like, there's yeah. nothing else like, weird about, like, there's no throwing up. There's no crying all the time, you know? Jackson, as an infant, was also very easy. However, he was my first, and so I panicked about every little thing. I mean, he hiccuped, and I, like, panicked. Lila, love her so much. She was very colicky, very finicky. She had really bad GERD. So she threw up all the time. She had like really bad reflex. She was a hard baby. Josiah's made it easy, cause he's easy. Like he's a straightforward kid. He eats, he poops, he sleeps. Like he's not colicky, he's not finicky. He's just easy. So it's made it easier to enjoy everything. What are they doing right now? Like are they playing together right now? I mean, I don't hear screaming, so. <laughs> Is Josiah good down there? I'm gonna go check on him right now. Yeah, um, I think he needs a new onesie. Josiah is two months old and he's been doing really well. My only complaint about Josiah, there, he's such an easy baby. He just doesn't sleep at night. With Jackson and Lila, 
They would be like once a week maybe. They would go like five or six hours. And we don't get that with Josiah. Josiah is like two hours, 50 minutes. He's up, ready to eat. So I can't get any sleep. It's hard. Well, Tori, he's sleeping so quietly. Okay, no, 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 don't wake him up. My tolerance is so much different than Tori. Tori's tolerance for crying, anything, is very, very small. And then she gets mad at me. She's like, Zach, are you just gonna let him cry? I'm like, he's been crying for like two minutes. Nowhere near my like limit. So the whole nighttime routine can be very challenging. <laughs> That's so gross. Stop, okay? There's times, yeah, we feel outnumbered. There's times when like, yeah, J J Jackson has his needs, Lila has hers, and then Josiah, and it's like, we're getting pulled in different directions, but like, we're super blessed with three kids, healthy kids, very good, well-behaved kids. Look at him. Liz, you can ride your scooter right here if you want. Mm -hmm. Do you want a snack? That's it. Lila, do you need to go potty? Yeah. Do you need to go potty? Okay. Don't go pee-pee in your pants, okay? We're starting to potty train. She's a little more interested in potty training than Jackson ever was. Man, we gotta set up our trail cams, though. <laughs> Savage. <laughs> Savage. <laughs> Savage. Her life, her life, man. It's so rough. <laughs> Lila's never been camping, so she doesn't have any feelings. I will not be it. taking Lila camping, I'm sorry. I will take her to the princess castles of all princess castles. I will not be taking her camping. She won't be camping in the backyard either. She's gonna be a handful. She already is a handful. We'll not be waking up at 11 o'clock for her crying and saying, mom, mom, Yeah, mom, I can't mom, really mom, picture mom. her camping at the moment. Come here. You come here. You come hang out with mom. Unbelievable. <laughs> Can you just look at the burp cloth, please? That was disgusting. <laughs> Shoshai is getting to be four months, and um, we've been sleep training them. Last night was probably rougher for me. Yesterday, I have never, I like literally can't remember a time in my life I've been that emotionally, physically drained in my life. I'm very sleep deprived. Literally my only complaint about Josiah, he's such an easy baby, he just doesn't sleep at night. Like he's just, on the struggle bus, which is like, it's killing everyone. We're struggling, like it's just, it's not fun, to be honest. It's, it's hard. My niche in life, I truly believe, is being a mom. I love being a mom. And so when I have days like yesterday where I just didn't have patience for my kids, like I just, when I get upset at them because of something that's like affecting me, I hate that. Like I just went to bed last night with like the worst mom guilt. When I get mad at the kids, it's because I'm mad at the kids. I don't feel dad guilt. That's not true. There's been I times got... that you've gotten mad that you've felt guilty okay, after. Every now and then, maybe. But it's not like the same guilt. We're it's talking about different It's not the same types. guilt. My guilt is like, did I spend enough time with them? Did I like listen to yeah, them? Yeah, my guilt did is I... probably like, I probably shouldn't have done that. <laughs> <laughs> we can joke, but when you have a lack of sleep and you feel like you're sinking and failing as a mother, it can be like, Frustrating. Well, and like, just when I like yell, just cause I don't feel like I yell a lot, ever. I literally can, I, can you leave? You don't yell that much, but I you don't yell. yell ever. Oh, I wouldn't say ever, but yeah, you're right. You don't, compared to a lot of parents, you do not yell. You can- This is what's frustrating about you though. This is why I get overwhelmed. Honestly, Zach, this is why. Because you don't give me any credit for anything. No, Tori, you, I'm giving you credit. I'm just you saying- You do not though, you Ember don't. Ember is strong. You know what hurt my feelings the other day? What hurt your feelings? You don't even care. Give me what hurt your you feelings. You literally, I'm making Jackson's lunch and yep. you go, oh, it's just, you're just make, trying to make it look good. I said cute, okay. Look cute, whatever, that's even worse. Instead of like, Tori, thank you for making our children lunch. I would say Zach takes care of the outside of the house and I take care of the inside of the house. I do breakfast, feed the kids, get, re get Jackson ready for school, take him to school, and then come home and Sai goes down for his first nap and it's just me and Lila and we play. And then he wakes up, we do lunch. It's like exhausting. I just wish you would give me a little more credit. I do give mom. you credit, but I, I also don't. hold 
You don't. I hold you accountable too. But that's why I have days like yesterday though, Zachary. That's why I get burnt out because like I can't always like be like that. No, I get it. No, you don't. I do. <laughs> so you're sleeping upstairs tonight? I'm sleeping upstairs tonight. I'm gonna sleep down the road tonight. I feel underappreciated all the time. This is also an issue in our marriage currently because I'm exhausted. I'm like literally more. pouring from an empty cup and everybody wants something from me. And so like, if I don't have anything to give, it's it, the whole, everything just like freaks out. Also, we have lost our babysitter roster up here. So that's been hard. I definitely need a break. Uh, okay, so yeah, you're upstairs. Lila's with me, Jackson's in his room and Josiah's in Lila's room. Musical beds. When we bought this house, we knew only having two bedrooms for the kids downstairs could be an issue. But, uh, you know, at the time, we didn't think about that. Right now, Josiah's been sleeping in Lila's room. And the challenge is he'll wake up in the middle of the night uh, and we don't want him to wake up Lila, so we have to go in there. Instead of letting him just cry, we give him the binky and we don't want him sleeping in Jackson's room. He has school, so we want to make sure he's getting a good night's sleep and we don't want Josiah in our room because we want our own space. Accurate. And so we're just trying to figure out what to do. We'll get through this. I yeah. do just wish you would appreciate me I do appreciate you, Tori. I just... I you keep, don't say it. I keep you sharp. On your toes. Then lock it in and then keep it sharp. <laughs> <laughs> okay, any guesses on how this goes? <sighs> Last night was rough. Last night was R-U-F-F -F rough. It's not a fun time. Like, I'm literally dying on the inside. Josiah is four and a half months, and we've been trying to sleep train him for a while. For and a while. it's uh, it's been tough. The last, like, three nights, it's been, like, every hour he's crying. Like, he doesn't sleep. We never have really had to yeah. deal with any sleep well, issues because our previous two kids were like, oh, le I can sleep 11 hours? I'm going to do that. But it's not even, like, at night, though, too. It's during the day. He naps for 20 to 30 minutes, and that's not normal. I think there's a little bit of a challenge having three kids to have such a set schedule because life just flows differently. <laughs> This house, we did not think about the three bedroom situation. It sucks. Currently, Josiah and Lila are sharing a room because Jackson has school and just, we want to make sure that he's not interrupted. But also, Lila's tough. If she gets woken up in the middle of the night, she can be tough to get back down to sleep. So that's causing the issue because then we have to go in. That's part of it too. Tori can't go in. It's once he sees Tori, he's like, oh, feeding time. Okay, let's hope I did this right. Because of this, we've been having to have Zach sleep upstairs with Lila and have Josiah be alone in Lila's room. It's a whole cluster. It's hard like right now because there's days that like I love where we're at and I'm trying really hard to enjoy yeah. the stage. But then there's other days where I'm like, I straight up am miserable. I'm very sleep deprived. And then I have days like today where it just all like boils and I just can't even like do anything. Like it's just frustrating. Babe, do you realize how easy you have it though? What do you mean? What do you mean? You have it so easy. You literally, you can leave whenever you want. You could just leave the house. You know I don't like that comparison though. Oh, because it's true? And you it's- No, you have your mom, <laughs> you have a special gift. Oh, yeah. is that what it is? So like enjoy that and appreciate that. Okay. Zach does not understand. I'm constantly like needed by someone in the family. Not that he is not, but he's needed in a different way. Like I have like a role that I cannot escape from. Like I literally physically cannot escape from my role as a mom, like with breastfeeding and I am a stay at home mom, that's my job. And so I understand my role. It just would be nice to be appreciated for that role a little bit more often. I just, I haven't slept since I gave birth to him. It's just a little chaotic at the moment. It's just a little... It's a season of life. That's what I keep telling myself. Yeah. One day I'm going to miss this. <laughs> I'm gonna miss this. I know I am. <laughs> anyway, the date night. I could use one. 
Is it a date night or is it a time to get closer to one another oh. as a married couple or is it a time to get away from the kids? It's a time to get away from the kids at this point. Yeah. I appreciate Tori and everything she does for the family. This moment in time is harder for her. She takes a lot more on emotionally. So I, I want to get her out of the house. We need to go on a date. She just needs to know that the whole family loves her and yeah, she's doing a good job. Lila. Lila. <laughs> Lila is definitely a daddy's girl and she won't let Tori and me show any form of affection in the house whatsoever. <laughs> Hey, Tori, you're upsetting her. I don't know if it's a jealousy thing with Lila or is it like a, she doesn't like when Jackson and me wrestle, for example. I think she just wants things to just to be calm. Oh, is that your man? Lila, that's my man. My man. No. Yeah, daddy's mine. Not your. Yeah, <laughs> you get your side. <laughs> this is why we need a date night. I need to be alone with my man. Thank, oh, thank you. you. Oh, it is a little chilly out here, though. Um, this is your favorite place, though, right? I do love me some wild fin. We don't have to rush. I'm not we don't rushed. have to order. The minute this guy shows up, we can, like, chill. Isn't that weird? Zach is notorious for us sitting down at family dinners and him being like, all right, know what you're gonna order. When she comes yeah. around, we're gonna order right now. This is basic, though. This and is And when basics. we're at a date night, he like wants to do that. But I'm like, no, just like sit here. Let's get an appetizer. Let's get a drink. We're not in a rush. Cheers to date night. Cheers to date night. Kidless. Yeah. Oh, I've been dreaming about this since the last time I got it. Mm. Oh, so good. Yeah, sleep training is tough, but I think we're coming out of it. You know what I'm saying? So. I think it's been great with three. It's hard at times, but like, it's all a natural progression though, because as it gets hard with Josiah needs more and more of us, Jackson becomes more and more independent. Yeah. And then Lila will become more independent. Yeah. All right, you were upset with me or something? No, like it, like I do feel underappreciated. You know I appreciate it though, you know. I know that you do, but it would be nice to hear it more often. You've been doing great with Josiah. And... It would just be nice to hear it, feel it, absorb it. I like Tori because she takes care of our family. <laughs> She appreciates me and, yeah. Why do you say it like it's so painful? Yes, it is. It's so painful for you. <laughs> the last don't talk about their feelings. <laughs> it just never feels genuine. It's always like when I tell you that I need it, then you're like, yeah, you're great. You're fine. It's been fine. <laughs> I feel like I can't say anything. <laughs> you can't. You can't. You have to say it when it's not. If I'm not saying up. anything, you're doing a great job. Okay? <laughs> like. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> if I'm not saying anything negative, then it's like it's positive, obviously. <laughs> you know. That makes zero sense. No, it's like like when I wake this is up what in I'm the morning. talking about though. He internalizes no, it, and he needs. To I wake up in the morning, and she's like, "Why do you hate me?" I'm like, I literally just woke up. Like, I, I didn't say anything bad. Like, I'm just like living, you know? Like, we're just. <laughs> Have you read that book, Love Languages, that our wedding counselor yeah, gave to us? Yeah, words of affirmation. What was your second one, though? Quality time. What's mine, though? What's my love language? Physical touch. Oh, yeah. Except we can... not in public, ever. <laughs> we can always have more of that, though, too. <laughs> I need more words of affirmation in my life. Like daily or like? I mean, that would be nice if I'm doing good, just, you know. <laughs> oh my gosh. You should wake up every morning though, Tori, and assume that you're doing great. Like, I just don't say it every day, but it's like, just, I'm here. Obviously, I appreciate you. Like. But see, that's where relationships go If south. I'm not being critical. What is it? Assuming makes an ass out of you and me. <laughs> Humans don't do that. Like, I wake up every morning assuming that, like, I'm in the hole. It's the morning. How can you be in the hole? Nothing's happened yet. 
Who's in the but hole? That's why it's your job to tell me I'm not in the hole and that I'm doing well. I'm gonna wake you up tomorrow and be like, you're not in the hole, <laughs> okay? Like, <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I don't think to like give her affirmation every day because some of the things she does for me, that's just what we do, we're parents. Yeah, I'm not gonna say thank you every time you change the diaper, but I do understand that that is her love language. I've known this from day one, you know, so it's something I have to get better at. This is why we're so good together though. If you receive love by acts of service and you give love. Wait, sorry. Are you giving flowers? Well. We were actually able to have some conversations, reconnect, enjoy each other's time together. And um, I think that's what will keep our marriage strong is we still actually like hanging out with each other. Yeah. How many years until Jackson can watch the kids by himself? Yeah. This was amazing. Yeah. Love you. I love you. Cheers to date night. <laughs> Cheers.